Hello and welcome to Baiju's IAS. Let's get started with our daily quiz and look at question number one. Which of the following statements regarding zeolites is or are correct? What is the context? Air India begins zeolite cargo service because the central government has commenced the process of importing zeolite from across the world for use in medical oxygen plants. Statement number one, zeolites do not occur naturally but are produced industrially on a large scale. Zeolites are used as molecular sieves to create purified oxygen from air using its ability to trap impurities and zeolites are reusable. Let me know in the comment section what do you think is the right answer. These zeolites, these are basically crystalline solid structures made up of silicon, aluminum and oxygen. They have unique porous properties and because of these pores, they are able to trap the impurities and they act as molecular sieves just like the strainers we use at our homes. I'll explain this porous property a bit later. But these zeolites, they do occur naturally. For example, natural zeolites, they are formed where volcanic rocks and ash layers they react with groundwater and groundwater there is alkaline so zeolites are also found naturally but at the same time they are also produced industrially on a large scale and these zeolites are used as molecular sieves as strainers for example to create purified oxygen from air using its ability to trap impurities because zeolites because of their porous properties they are able to trap the impurities and these zeolites they are reusable as well so statement one is incorrect two and three is correct so c two and three is the right answer staying with zeolites let's look at question number two zeolites are used in the following as water softeners water filters odor control pet litter select the correct option from below Zeolites are used in water softeners. Let's say for example this is hard water and this hard water contains calcium and magnesium and this hard water is piped through zeolite and this zeolite is sodium containing zeolite. Then what happens when this hard water is piped through this sodium containing zeolite then what will happen because of the porous properties of zeolites this zeolite traps the calcium and magnesium and what it does it releases the sodium ions and that is how this hard water becomes soft so zeolites are used as water softeners they're also used as water filters they're also used in odor control and as pet litters for example these zeolites as i told you because of their porous properties they're able to trap the odor they're able to trap the unwanted liquid so zeolites are used in all of the above d is the right answer now let's look at question number three consider the following statements but first up let's look at the context mars landing gives china's space program a leg up statement number one china is the fifth country to perform a successful soft landing on mars china's Tianhe rover landed on the mars in its first attempt India's Mangalyaan, which was launched in 2013, landed on the surface of Mars in its first attempt. Which of the above statements is or are correct? China's Mars mission is Tianwe-1. And this Mars mission, it has a rover named Zurong. So rover Zurong is part of China's Mars mission Tianwe-1. So China's Tianhe rover landed on Mars in its first attempt is wrong. It is China's Zurong rover, which is part of its Mars mission Tianwei-1, which landed on Mars in its first attempt. So statement two is incorrect. China is not the fifth country to perform a successful soft landing on Mars. China is the third country. We have seen Soviet Union, United States, and now China, these are the only three countries to perform a successful soft landing on Mars. There was a Mars mission of Soviet Union which landed on the surface of Mars, but then the contact was lost in about 20 seconds. So we can say 
the mission of Soviet Union was partially successful. But then the mission of United States was fully successful and now China is the third country in the world to perform a successful soft landing on Mars. So statement one also is incorrect. India's Mangalyaan, which was launched in 2013, landed on the surface of Mars in its first attempt. This statement is wrong. Why? Because Mangalyaan did not land on the surface of Mars. It only entered into the orbit around Mars. Because Mangalyaan was a Mars orbiter mission, MOM. And there are five countries which have been able to reach into the orbit around the Mars. Soviet Union, United States, China, India, and recently United Arab Emirates as well. UAE became the first Arab country to enter into orbit around Mars. And UAE's Hope Probe also became the second country in the world after India to reach the orbit around Mars in its first attempt. Now, what is this Tianhe? Tianhe is the first module of China's permanent space station. So all these statements are incorrect. D, none of the above is the right answer. Now, let's look at question number four. NASA's Perseverance rover is related to, it is related to Mars and it was in the news in February 2021 as well. Now let's look at a previous year's question paper, Prelims 2016, which one of the following is a purpose of Uday, a scheme of the government. Pause this video and let me know what is the right answer. And the right answer is D, providing for financial turnaround and revival of power distribution companies, DISCOMs. Now let's look at the fact of the day, guidelines to adopt names of cyclones. Cyclones that form in every ocean basin across the world, they are named by regional, specialized, meteorological centers. And there are six such centers in the world. One such center is IMD, Indian Meteorological Department. And then we have tropical warning centers. And there are five tropical warning centers in the world. So these cyclones across the world are named by the regional specialized meteorological centers and tropical warning centers. There are six such regional centers. One such center is Indian Meteorological Department. But why do we adopt names for cyclones? Because it makes it easier for people to remember. It helps in a lot of other ways, in disaster management, creating awareness, so on and so forth. The year was 2000. A group of nations called World Meteorological Organization United Nations Economic and Social Commission for Asia and the Pacific. They decided to start naming cyclones in the region. And there are today 13 countries in the list. So every country has provided 13 suggestions. So in total, we have 169 cyclone names released by this regional center, which is IMD. So I told you cyclones across the world are named by regional specialized meteorological centers. One such center is IMD. In April this year, 169 cyclone names were released by IMD. But there are some guidelines that these countries have to keep in mind when they suggest names. And which are these guidelines? Number one, the name should be neutral, neutral to politics and political figures, neutral to religious beliefs, cultures and gender. Name should be chosen in such a way that it does not hurt the sentiments of any group of population over the globe. It should not be very rude, cruel in nature. It should be short, easy to pronounce and should not be offensive to any member. Interesting thing, the maximum length of the name will be eight letters. And the proposed name, the name proposed by a member country should be provided with its pronunciation and voice over. One important thing, which can be relevant for your prelims exam, the names of tropical cyclones over the North Indian Ocean will not be repeated, which means once this name is used, it will cease to be used again. That means the name should be new. That is it from our daily quiz segment. Thank you for being with us. Have a great evening.